You'll never run cover three, cover two, and cover four again in the red zone after I show you this tip. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So I want to talk about something that I was labbing down in the red zone, and um, it's really not getting talked about a lot, but it does have an opportunity for you to get pretty easy scores against your opponent. So uh, basically it's using the fade route down in the red zone. Uh, I was labbing red zone combinations and just trying to find, I try to create myself a red zone met, 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 a mini scheme and I stumbled on this route that uh, just gets open uh, down in the red zone and the defenders don't play it correctly. So I want to show this to you. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and, and, and pick a basic play, which is going to be uh, the hitch seams. Uh, but the key to this play and how this play works is that you want to have uh, basically two receivers on one side of the field. They have to be uh, you have to be split out uh, for this to work. So we're just going to go ahead and jump into hitch seams. Now, when I first started labbing this play, I was I was I was actually finding this this happening a lot uh, in cover three. So I'm just going to do random cover threes. So uh, basically with this play, you see these guys press down, you've got the single high safety. It's telling you this is a cover three coverage. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our outside receivers and put them on fade routes. And I wanna show you on how the defenders that play over those fades don't play them. They basically come off of them. They play the middle third, they play the, th the, the, the split between the thirds. And what happens is it gives you a passing lane that you can go ahead and attack your opponent and get an easy touchdown. So here's a play, here's an area of the field that I'm actually uh, popping with confidence. I want to show this to you in it's a replay. This is really consistent. Watch this defender right here. He actually pulls up and then he slides out of position. So he's like playing his third and he doesn't play this player right here. He does not play him at all. And it's actually going to give you a quick pass that you could throw to the outside. And by the, by the time the ball is out uh, to the sideline, you're going to actually get a, a fast reception. And it pretty much works on both sides of the field too. So even on the short side of the field, you can get that same type of animation and a quick little pass lead to get an easy touchdown. Now what's cool about this is that if he puts hard flats out, you're gonna get the seam shot right down in the middle. So if he makes the adjustment of hard flats, you're gonna be able to go ahead and hit him the seams either side of the field with this particular setup. So you can see right here, a little bit tighter window, but that play opportunity is right there for you. Now, what about cover two? The funny thing is with cover two, sometimes that route gets open too with the defensive back. So you can actually go ahead and get that ball in there. But you're also going to get these back sidelines too if the defender actually plays down. It's kind of like a high low with cover two where you can get these opportunities and he'll give you that back sideline so you can get that animation. So if, he, if the defender plays down, so if we look at the defender and he plays down, he's got to play this area of the field and it's going to give that back corner where you can actually get a nice little completion for a touchdown. Now one of the more popular plays is cover four drop and you're going to get the same type of situation with that where you actually can go and get uh, those fades that, where the defensive back doesn't play them. Now the zone coverage that it really doesn't work is going to be like a palms coverage or a quarters coverage. So actually this is a defense that's going to shut this this down and also man coverage. Now most most Madden players, at least top players, don't use man coverage down in the red zone. They're going to actually try to go ahead and put guys in zones and let the uh, let uh, and let their opponent beat them by trying to find the slivers of the zone. So most good Madden players would do this, but cover four palms will lock this concept uh, up. Um, and actually might be a really good defense to go ahead and use down in the red zone so you have those run fits uh, to go ahead and attack your opponent with. So I'll show you what happens is now that man carries with Robinson and as you can see that it gets locked up. So you might want to consider switching over to cover four palms, 
but if you got an opponent that runs cover three, especially cover three, this destroys cover three. Uh, it also leaves those slots open for any kind of hard flats. It will be cover four, and it's going to be cover two in many instances, either on the backside of a fade route or sometimes before it. So I would go into the lab and look at running fades. The combination that what makes the fades where you get the, the release is that if you got a fade next to a streak route or a, uh, or a curl route, that is a combination you want to look at. And what you could do is you could build an entire scheme off the back end side where you've got yourself a little drag route and then you've got you got yourself a little fade and that's going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and get get the ball into the back of the end zone based on the race so guys uh, once again thank you for support i hope this helps you score more touchdowns on the red zone it's not the perfect red zone offense but it's it's something that you can add to your book add to your scheme to go ahead and get more touchdowns in the red zone and cause a problem for your opponent so for, thank you for support if you do like these tips make sure you smash that like button and until next time